Hi, Dr. Phil, it's Michael here. I have been on the streets of Hollywood for about two and a half hours now, looking for our guest, Ginger, on foot. Ginger, are you in there? Ginger being out on the street like this is extremely concerning to me because of her history of running away, being on the streets, and going MIA. Thankfully, she is willing to communicate with me, but she won't tell me where she is. The last and only update she gave me on what her location was, was Hollywood Boulevard. I have gone to four liquor stores in the Hollywood area, assuming she may be trying to buy alcohol. It is 8.20 p.m. No sign of Ginger yet. She keeps telling us she's coming back. She keeps telling us she'll be here shortly. No show. She's just not stopping for one minute to realize anything past yourself, Dr. Phil. Please let that be Ginger right there. It is! I found Ginger on her way back to the hotel. I feel for Shannon and Grace to have experienced this, but as they were saying, this is exactly the reason why they tried to get Ginger here to you. Well, Ginger. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Yeah. Um, you came here for help, right? And you want help, correct? Yeah, I do. What is it you think you need help with? Reuniting with my children and my drug addiction. So your goal is to ultimately get back with your children. I need to. I want to, badly. That's what, that's what you want. Yes. If they were here and I walked them out right now and said, okay, here you go, what would you do? I have no clue. I wouldn't know where to start. It's been too long. You wouldn't know how to take care of them? No. Okay. And would you be able to stop drinking? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. You went missing yesterday for 12 hours. Uh, you stayed in touch, thank you, but we didn't know where you were, what you were doing. So this is about truth telling because, you know, I, I feel like I, I can help with about anything that I know about, anything that I have the facts about, and nothing that I don't. So where were you yesterday? Wandering the city. Uh huh. Why? I've been in my hotel, and I, I don't know why I do that. I've been super anxious about this, and... What did you do for 12 hours? Wandered, made friends, drank. You said you were with, quote, peddlers. <laughs> That's what you called them. I just meant, like, people, like, just, that are out and about like me. Were you trying to get money? No. Okay. If that's what you're thinking, then that's ridiculous. No, because you would ask me for and that puts it at a whole different level, Mom. Right, no, that's, I, that's what I was getting at, because you were asking. Well, don't, don't get self-righteous yeah. here, because you, you've said straight up, you'll do whatever you have to to get alcohol, and you can't stop drinking, or you go into seizures. So that doesn't mean th that that's I, not a ridiculous question. It you, is coming from somebody who doesn't know me. Well, I don't know you. Her. And, and I'm asking because I, mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm gathering information I mean, here. If you, if you want to know, then no, I'm not doing everything for alcohol. In fact, I usually just give it or get it given to me. And yeah. I don't prostitute right now. So that's... Yeah. Why do people... Who was the guy last night? night? Huh? Who was the guy last night? Do you guys know who that guy is? That's why I'm asking you. I don't know who he was. Then why did you just say that so condescending as if you know something? I'm asking. Is it, is it impossible for me to ever meet anybody normal? Any um, male I'm with, it's, it's, a, guy it's on somebody. The and brought him back why don't you mind your room? business until you've actually known something about That's that? That's why Grace. I asked Ginger. Thank you. So you met someone? Yeah, I met several people. Just yeah. But somebody came back to the hotel with you? Yeah, for a little bit. Does that not make you wonder why I worry about you? How your do safety? you make friends? You said you're not prostitute anymore. Why did you stop? I can't do it anymore. Why not? It became impossible somehow. It got harder. It took me longer to get ready. It's too scared to open the door. Like, it just became something I, it was very difficult. So this is something that was acceptable to you before, mm -hmm. but then became unacceptable to you. Yeah. It just, it's just something you just My can't do anymore. My own self says that, yes. Yeah. Now, this man that you brought home last night, did he provide you with alcohol? Because yeah. I understood from the producer that you gave him a massage and he gave you alcohol. It was no, a barter. It, was, it wasn't, no, it wasn't, no. I had the alcohol way before we even came to my room. It was not a barter. I don't want anyone thinking that because that's absolutely, for the first time, not true. So, no. So y you were promiscuous then, but you didn't have sex? Not full-fledged sex, no. 